Hey, what's going on? Builders Krosama here. So we're finally taking a look at the Blitz Gundam. Now, I did make a poll on my community page, and yes, the Artemis won. However, uh, it is going to be getting a buff fairly soon. At least I want to say it's going to be fairly soon. They haven't really given a date. Uh, so I'm like, you know what? Let's put this away for a little while just until it gets this buff. And then we'll do an analysis video on the Artemis, and in the meantime, let's take a look at the Blitz Gundam. So the only way you was actually able to get this mobile suit was through an event that happened last week. Uh, basically, you complete all the little missions, you get coins, and you cash those coins in at the exchange in order to, you know, basically get these little parts. Um, but yeah, overall, I think the Blitz is a very cool looking mobile suit. Uh, I do have the master grade of it, both the uh, colloid version and the normal version. Definitely really awesome looking suits, but this is the thing, how does it fare in this game? So for the stats of the head, it's kind of weird that you don't really see a huge emphasis on the shot attack, and I think that's where uh, my idea of this being a super like supportive role is kind of coming into play, because a lot of uh, different mobile suit heads, like the Gundam or the new Gundam, uh, they have a lot of emphasis on the shot attack, so this one does have a lot more emphasis on shot attack than the melee, but it's also kind of matching up with the defenses, so that's pretty much why I'm thinking this is definitely going to be a supportive type suit. Now we're taking a look at its EX skill, this is a really, really good skill. Recovery Tool Beta. Ally recovers 38% of maximum armor. That's why I said this is a supportive role, because it's... This is my thing. This is not going to be used for your primary suit, unless you are trying to act as the uh, supportive role. Whereas, that's pretty fine, but once 3v3 comes out for the arenas, this is something that you're not really going to want to use. I don't see how you would want to be the supportive, because um, I don't think it would be really good gameplay uh, to just kind of hang back while your two um, assistant roles just go out there and do all the battling, and then you just kind of like, you know, recover. But, uh, I mean, it's still going to do some fairly good damage, but, yeah, that's a really good skill that's going to be, you know, very beneficial for your other two mobile suits. Now, the word tags is going to be high mobility, raises shot defense and beam resistance by 5%, and then urban area, so parameters are 1% um, increase, and for uh, 3% when you're in urban category terrain. Now, we're taking a look at the body. I think the stats are pretty good. Uh, the defense is going to be fairly okay. Uh, the armor is actually going to be pretty damn good as well. Uh, but the key thing about the body is going to be the EX skill, being Mirage Colloid. So 51 seconds is going to be the total uh, effect time category is going to be Awakening. So much like the, uh, the kind of like hyper modes and burst effects and all that. And then cooldown is going to be 60 seconds and first time is going to be 12 seconds. So it's going to take a little bit, but hey, if you've gotten all the parts like I did, you should be able to max out and get to this point. Uh, now, go stealthy with colloid particles on your armor. You become harder to target for a set of period of time. Raise your shot attack by 19%. That's the key right there. Raising your shot attack by 19%. Um, so, you definitely can see this, this mobile suit is going to be fairly more, um, you know, trying to prioritize its shot attack over its melee. Uh, but so far, it looks like it's a very solid mobile suit. So, let's go check out the arms. Now, here we're looking at the arms. Um... Uh, the melee attack is definitely not going to be too great, uh, but it does have some really good defenses, and that's kind of like what I really prefer on this mobile suit. Uh, it really does feel it's, it's really just more of a supportive, like I mentioned, so I uh, really do like those defenses. So for the EX skill, it's going to be Trikirios, I think I pronounced that right, uh, Trikirios uh, Rush. It's going to be a beam melee attack. You're going to have Piercing D, Power B, uh, 19 second cooldown, and then the first time is going to be 5 seconds. So fairly soon within the mission uh, or battle, you'll be able to go ahead and pull this off. A combo attack with the uh, Trikirios uh, compo um, Composite Armament Unit. So that should... To my knowledge, that should be the shield, and you basically can utilize that uh, beam weaponry, so you're going to have a beam saber right inside there, and that's essentially the weapon that you're going to be using. But no added effects, that kind of sucks, you know, it'd be cool if it gave like an extra like melee uh, increase or something, but, you know, it's still a decent EX skill. And next we have is going to be the legs. So, hey, really good defenses once again. Obviously, the melee attack and the shot attack is going to be kind of shafted a little bit. But yeah, I really do appreciate those defenses that it's going to have. Now for the parts trait, is going to have, with speed attribute, which it is, shooting crit rate boosts 17%. Really damn good. So once again, putting that emphasis on shooting, I, I really do appreciate that. Uh, so I can definitely have a little bit more variety because I do have rising that is kind of more leaning towards my uh, melee suit. Uh, Dragon Gundam, which is going to be melee. I'm going to have Barbados. 
but I really don't have too many shooting mobile suits except for the new Gundam. So having this one, I can definitely see myself utilizing this in battle, not only as a supportive unit, but maybe even as an offensive shooting mobile suit. And next we have is going to be the backpack. So it's pretty much almost identical to the legs, being you know really uh, high emphasis on the def uh, defenses and fairly low on the attack stats. But yeah, it looks really good. So take a look at the trait. 15% chance to prevent veneer consumption when stepping. So that's actually pretty good because let's say you're you know really close to the enemy, which you really try and not to be with this mobile suit. But if you are really close to the enemy, you want to do some side stepping to kind of throw them off balance and avoid any any, any incoming attacks. It's going to be good that you can conserve all that booster and then you can go ahead and back away or do whatever uh, that you need to with that extra boost. So I think it's a good trait. Don't get me wrong. But the fact that this is not going to be a melee oriented suit kind of makes me think it's a wasted trait because I would prefer something that's going to maybe increase um, you know, the, the cooldowns or it's going to uh, maybe increase maybe effects like secondary effects on um, you know, my different EX skills or even increase shot attack. I'll be definitely uh, for that. But you know, overall the backpack isn't too bad, but yeah, I, I could probably do without it. Now looking at the word tags that is going to be for the primary unit, uh, you're going to have high mobility as compared to be for everything. So that's your already default word tag that it's going to have is the high mobility. Now you do have two mid-range that you can utilize and you're going to have three for urban areas. But let's take a look at what mid-range is. So for mid-range, it's going to be raised shot attack and physical resistance 5% while active. That's actually really good because you're going to want that extra shot attack and uh, the physical resistance is good. But shot attack, I mean, we're already emphasizing a lot on that, you know, different attack stat right there. So, hey, we're going to have to look for more mid-range. That way we can activate these different word tags. So before we go and take it into battle, we're going to have to equip it with something because, yeah, going out there like this, we're going to get destroyed. So let's just take a look at what we can use for a weapon. Well, I decided to give it the Barbados Mace because... Why not? And for the weapon, I did give it the OG Gundam's Beam Rifle. Uh, it does have the mid-range, so that's kind of like something I really wanted to, you know, capitalize on is, hey, let's activate that uh, mid-range word tag. And the same thing with the Divider Shield. It has the uh, mid-range, so once again, I thought it was a really good weapon to slap on them. And unfortunately, I don't have a uh, mid-range pilot. I don't know why I don't. Uh, but yeah, so all I have is Amuro Ray that I think is pretty much the best choice, uh, mainly because of his... Uh, his passive trait, so beam range, weapon, reload speed, boosted 9%, and he's one of the best, in my opinion, of uh, long range shooter uh, MSs, or not MSs, but pilots. So we're gonna just go roll with him, but hey, let's just jump right into a battle. Okay, so we're gonna be doing one of the events, this is going to be the hard mode event. Um, let's take a look at, well, obviously, we're, this is definitely more keen to uh, the rifle that I have, but the rush looks pretty good. Ugh, taking some damage. Now, obviously, the recovery is not going to work on us because we're not an ally. We are self. So, let's take a look at the Mirage Colloid and just see how the tracking is. So, obviously, well, looks like you can see us. I know it's only like a chance for them not to see us. But, yeah, it looks like you might be missing. That's pretty good. Take a look at the... Uh, the rush again so obviously we could be hit during that animation which does suck but hey it's still it's still a decent melee attacking um, ability and I'm just gonna use it again just to show y'all so not really too hard I think that I think the mobile suit overall in this game it, it, it flows really good it's a speed type um, so we're gonna be neutral to uh, Gabera Oh, we got hit there. Hmm. Alright. Bam. Okay. So, yeah, overall, I think the Blitz, it plays fairly good. Um, just obviously, I would say it's, um, it's rush ability as well as the recovery is not good if you're soloing. I, I, I think that rush can be replaced easily. So, you know, let's just take a look at uh, what it's going to look like if you kind of mesh up a bunch of stuff together to kind of improve the overall quality of the mobile suit. And we'll slap on a really nice paint job. So for the custom, and I do use the word custom very loosely, uh, all I really did was just slap the camphor head on it, threw the Aegis arms on there, and kept the weapon loadout exactly the same. 
The one thing I did change was I put Ortega instead of Amaro Ray because I wanted a mid shooter and I felt like Ortega will do the job. Uh, plus, if I had uh, Amaro Ray still on there, he'll be an all rounder type of mobile suit, but I wanted him to be a speed type. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into a battle. Also, forgot to mention I did use the deep red color scheme for, uh, for the Blitz. So, jumping right in. I'm actually on very hard this time uh, because it was a little bit easy and I think this might be the proper, oh no, the proper, uh, I'm overheated, uh, the proper difficulty. So I'm not going to use Colloid right now. I'm actually going to wait for old boy to show up. So we're going to try and shoot him. I don't even think those attacks went through him. Oh no, that boy attacking us. Alright. So mid-range, I mean, I think mid-range is good for the type of mobile suit that we are. You know, you still want to go in and get some good uh, quick attacks. But yeah, we're really needing to uh, do Iron Impact. I need to put Colloid on, that's what I need to do right now. Oh no, no, no. Ugh. So it looks like they don't know where we are. And the effect is going to last quite a bit. And with last shooting we did recover a little bit of armor. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. The AoE damage from that bazooka is a killer. But uh yeah, I mean, that worked out pretty good. Soloing very hard with a very underpowered, uh, at least for the most part, uh, MS. The weapons are pretty much overpowered. Uh, but yeah, looks pretty good. So, what are my thoughts on the Blitz as a whole? I do believe many of the parts are worth investing. I think the body is completely worth investing into. The head part, especially uh, whenever 3v3 arenas come out. Uh, me, personally, I will be using the Blitz as one of my 3v3 uh, support suits. Um, I think that one... And the Alex, I think they're both really good support suits. But yeah, for the most part, I'm really gonna go with the Blitz because I just I, I like it. I like the aesthetics a little bit more. So yeah, personally, go with it if, if you're gonna do a 3v3. Uh, but if you're gonna do a 1v1, I want to say it's still usable as I as I shown you right now. But you're really gonna have to switch up a lot of parts. Uh, but if you do want to keep the head. I mean, it's, it's perfectly doable. You just switch out that EX with maybe one of your weapons EXs, and you'd be completely fine. But the uh, Mirage Kyloid, I think, is a really good EX uh, skill overall. And it's also going to increase your shot attack. So, yeah, if you really want that uh, shot attack increase, much like the Trans Am Raid, uh, you know, boost up melee attack, obviously there's a big gap difference in percentage. But if you want that same kind of effect, I mean, hey, I think the Kyloid is going to be there for you. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you all for watching. And, uh, you know, if you have any kind of, you know, comments, anything I can do better with these videos, please let me know in the comment section below. And also, you know, let me know what suit you would like to see come next. But that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you for watching. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.